warm greetings to all my students today we are going to see a new chapter from the science book of grade 3 the name of the lesson is what are things made of by the end of this lesson you will be able to explain that the things around us are made of different materials you will be able to state where we obtain these materials from and also able to describe the properties and uses of these materials we use or see several things in our daily life they may look and feel different some are hard and shiny or hard and rough or sometimes even soft and can be stretched they are different because they are made of different materials wood metal rubber plastic glass and paper are some materials used to make different things and we get many of these materials from nature some materials can be obtained from plants and some from animals and also some are dug out from the earth so here comes few materials which can be obtained from plants and from animals leather comes from the animals wool comes from the sheep camel or goat clay comes from the sand cotton comes from the cotton plant wood comes from the trees let us see in detail about the materials or the things which we get from the nature we get wood from trees like teak tree and neem tree it is hard and strong it is used to make furnitures like chairs cupboards cots tables etc we get rubber also from the nature it is a form of liquid or we can say it is the milk which we get from the rubber plant it can be stretched easily and it is used to make rubber tires rubber bands erasers and many many things etc the wood from bamboo and pine trees are usually very soft it can be made into watery paste and then rolled into sheets to make paper we also get fibers to make cloth from plants we get cotton fibers from the cotton plant we also get jute from the jute plant jute is used to make bags and ropes the fibers from the flax plant is used to make linen cloth we also get leather from animals we get wool and other fibers also from the animals leather and wool are used to make bags clothes shoes and many other things here comes few materials which can be dug out from the earth we make glass from the sand we use clay to make pots bricks 
and tiles. Use metals to make vessels and engines of cars, buses, trains and aeroplanes. Machines, electrical items, wires and many other things are also made from metals. Iron, aluminium and copper are some common metals used to make materials. Gold and silver are metals used to make jewelries. We get all metals from the earth. We also get petroleum from deep inside the earth. We get petrol and diesel which are used to run vehicles. We also get kerosene, wax, Vaseline and other things from petroleum. Petroleum is used to make plastics which have become an important material as wood and metals. We make several things like nylon cloths, ropes, toys, bags, TV, radio, cabinets, and parts of cars and many other things with plastic. Plastics do not rot like plant or animal materials. This is a useful property because things made of plastic will last for a long period of time. But there is a danger in using plastic things. Children, it's time to test your knowledge. Why should we not use too many things made of plastic? We should not use too many things made of plastic as they stay in the soil and pollute the land. So, we should not use too many plastic things. In some places like Delhi, the use of plastic bags is being banned. So, let us join together in order to make our environment plastic free. Hope you all enjoyed this lesson and I think you would have understood in detail from where these materials come from. Thank you and see you all in the next lesson.